What's up everybody on Charleston Car Videos? This video is for some of y'all today that believe in the Second Amendment. What are we gonna be doing, right? You may be wondering, well you saw the title of the video. We're gonna get inside some Ford trucks and we are gonna see where they have spots in them to store your gun. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, everybody, so you know, earlier today I was doing a review and I was kind of thinking about things and I said, you know, in my, in my head I was like, you know, I don't have a gun myself. I always have kind of wanted a gun. I've always wanted to go out to the woods and go hunting and all that kind of thing, but I never really got anybody to do that with. But maybe that's not an excuse, but I really would like to have some kind of gun to protect my family with. So anyways, I got to thinking while I was in this truck and I said, you know, if I had a gun in my truck, where would I store my gun? at, right? I mean, where is the actual proper spot to keep a, a gun at in your truck? Now, in most cases, you think of um, the glove box, right? But let's hop inside a Ford F-250 and uh, let me show you a few things. All right, man, I had to cut on the AC. I mean, already May 2018, it is hot outside. So we got the cooled seats on right now, which feel great. And we got the AC blowing a little bit. But you know, again, we're talking about where to store a gun in your truck. So like I was saying just a minute ago, the glove box, from what I've been told, is really the place you're supposed to keep your gun at, right? I mean, is that the rule? I don't really know, because I'm not a gun expert. I don't have a concealed and carry permit or anything like that. Like I said a minute ago, I don't own a gun. So I don't know the exacts on this. And really, I like to bring up topics of discussion by bringing up points like this. So again, I do want y'all to go in the comments section, and if you got a little more knowledge than I do on this, please get down in there and write a comment and share some valuable information. Maybe the laws change in different states. I don't know, we're here in South Carolina. But I've always been kind of under the impression that the spot to keep your gun out in your vehicle is in your glove box. But okay, let's think about that for a minute because if I had a nine millimeter right now or a Glock or something like that, you know, just a smaller gun, or a pistol if I had that gun and let's say I was you know out at the mall or whatever you know and it's dark outside and somebody comes up to the window of my car and let's say the windows down and this person has a knife maybe they have a gun or maybe I see them walking up to the car you know first off things start happening fast okay a lot of times you don't expect these things to happen but again someone's coming up in the car they got a weapon you need to grab your gun because you just feel inside that at least if that gun is right here or in your hand or whatever, maybe the safety's on, I don't know, but if you got it right there, maybe that person won't try to rob you, right? Well, if the gun is in the glove box, look how far inside the Ford truck the glove box is from where I'm sitting at. I mean, the glove box is way over there, so I'd have to literally open that up and then get in here and try to grab it, okay? Try to grab it, unless my wife is right here and she gets it for me, okay? But I'd have to go all the way over here and grab it. Then let's say, since it's got a lock on it, let's say the thing is locked, I gotta get my key, undo the car, unlock this, cause technically, you know, the gun's supposed to be locked in the glove box, so I'm unlocking. Now I'm trying to scramble to grab the gun, by that time, he's at the window. Stick him up. Give me your wallet. Give me your gun. Give me everything. By that time of already leaning way over there, he's already out my window. I mean, he was just five steps away. He's here. I'm in here trying to get my nine millimeter. I don't know. I don't personally think the glove box inside my Ford truck is close enough to me for my protection of myself or even my family that's inside of here, okay? Listen, folks, reason, another reason why I bring this subject is I was at a mall just last year. Some big dude comes up to my car while my family is in it and tells me to give him some money. He needs some money for gas, okay? Made me extremely uncomfortable. Then he has the audacity to put his hands on the side of the car window here and kind of lean down and put his head right in my face. What do I do? I grabbed five bucks, gave it to him, put him on his way, okay? But it was making me very uncomfortable and I wished I had some kind, something, something 
to protect my family, and I didn't, other than my fists. And this guy was big. All right, so that's the glove box, right? Here's the spot I think might be the best place to keep a gun at, right? Right in here, the center console. Open it up, it's deep, it's big. I mean, you can lay it right in here, and you got pretty quick access to opening that and grabbing what you need to grab and getting it out, okay? So technically, I think that is the best spot. Also, maybe it's okay to put it here because there is a lock right there, okay? So you can lock up the center console here if you need to. So again, I don't know the laws, but I think if you have a gun in the vehicle, it's basically got to be somewhere where it can be locked inside. So maybe that's not the second option or third, third option for a gun. Now this one is more or less for the guys that are hunting, right? You're hunters, right? A lot of times guys or girls that like to hunt are gonna have big trucks. And a lot of older trucks you see out in the country sometimes, they'll have a gun rack right here on that back window, right? Yeah, they do. But here's the spot I found on that Ford F-250 where you might be able to keep your shotgun at. You pull this seat up, check this out. Let's see if we can move these mats for a minute. Ford has given you this right here. Now I have wondered if this is for a shotgun in that type of situation for storing things. There's a lock there, check that out, okay? And now you can't lock it with a key, but is that a spot to put a gun at? I don't know. Might need to, good gracious. Hold on everybody. Okay, now that we got all four seats up, you can open this up a little bit easier. Well, actually, you know, Here's the thing, if you laid a shotgun down right in this area here, which is nice and grippy down here, check that out, nice and grippy. There's not really anywhere to, um, you couldn't, so you couldn't necessarily lock it up. I originally thought that this piece here closed down and you could have your shotgun or, or your rifle or whatnot sitting right in there. That's not the case, basically, once these are up, this is just a spot to store things at, which is a great spot. And I guess you technically could keep a shotgun or rifle down here, but definitely not, not a spot to hide, hide it at or, or just keep it locked up. Yeah. But it's nice that they have this compartment down here, which really honestly is kind of hidden to the people that don't really realize that it's there unless you pull up and then boom, you got some rifles sitting right in here. But again, definitely not I thought originally when I saw it that this opened up it was a little bit deeper in there and you could keep a rifle in there you can't okay so anyways those are some options maybe to hide things or store things inside your Ford truck here's the next option that or possibility that's kind of ran into my head first off not everybody has a brand spanking new 2018 truck so maybe your option is if your glove box doesn't lock or whatnot, maybe you keep it under the seat, down there somewhere maybe, maybe right here. I don't know. Let me know in the comments though, you know? What are the rules on having guns inside your vehicle? Whether you got a Honda Accord, a Toyota Camry, a Toyota Tundra, a Ford truck, an SUV, a crossover, what if you got a motorcycle? I mean, what are your, what rights do you have and what are the laws on where to keep your gun at in your vehicle? If a police officer walks up to your vehicle and you have a gun in it, obviously when they ask for license and registration and all, you should take out your, uh, your permit card right there and show them that you are concealing a gun inside the vehicle. Of course, that is definitely a must. But anyways, I'm just curious open it up for discussion if you're new to the channel make sure you like comment and subscribe i do truck car vlog videos every day of the week and i'm really excited about 2018 we're getting ready to go into summertime but i really would love to earn y'all as a subscriber my name is chad with charleston car videos thank you get in here let's make a comment discussion i really want to learn something and a lot of y'all teach me every day of the week so i want to teach y'all as well by learning the information and passing it back on out there we'll see you soon everybody thanks for watching <laughs>